Imagine waking up to headlines tomorrow declaring an 80% possibility for an economic recession in 2024. This isn't just a hypothetical scenario, it's a real possibility that leading economists are warning us about today. A downturn that could redefine our job markets, investments, and the very fabric of our global economy. Did you know that there's a 61% chance of an economic recession in the next 12 months according to the yield curve? Or that 84% of CEOs are preparing for an economic downturn? Today we're diving deep into the projection term forecast that could redefine the next year and what you can do to prepare. Stick around as I unpack and share key findings from C-suite executives from Wall Street and Main Street. Section 1, Growth Projections and Predictions Across the Board When it comes to forecasting the US economy in 2024, so-called experts land literally everywhere from the pessimism to optimism spectrum. On one end of the extreme, the Federal Reserve see nothing but blue skies and rainbows with no projected downturn in the foreseeable future. Yet on the polar opposite side of the spectrum, 84% of CEOs in the US admit that they're actively leaning towards preparing for a downturn and for lean times ahead. Goldman Sachs sees a relatively low 15% likelihood and Bank of America is slightly more cautious, placing odds at 35-40%. to 40%. Contrast that with the yield curve, a historically reliable predictor of our next great recession. It's signaling a 61% chance of a recession. I mean, that's a significant divergence from the Fed's outlook, isn't it? It's roughly 50-50 according to many bank economists. And with Main Street, consumers feel the economic pressure, with 69% believing a recession will likely be next year. It's a stark reminder of the mood among everyday folk. So what explains this vast range of predictions? In short, uncertainty rules the day. What's fascinating is how different all of these forecasts are, from the analytical desks of Wall Street to the executive offices of America's biggest company. No one can firmly agree on how high inflation can go, how long consumers keep spending, and whether corporate profits crack. And if the economy can avoid shooting its own foot, either from the accumulated dev or Federal Reserve policy misfire. Section 2, Factors Leading to the 2024 Recession The forefront are the interest rate hikes. In response to soaring inflation, central banks worldwide have synchronized their efforts, raising interest rates in a manner not seen in the past 50 years. The World Bank warns that this could lead to a global recession and trigger financial crises in the emerging market. Next, we confront the unresolved supply-demand imbalances and labor market pressure. The pandemic's aroma still lingers with broken supply chains and labor market imbalances causing ripples across economies. Consumer prices have been rising globally, up nearly 16% in the US and up near similar figures in the Eurozone, in the UK, India, and Brazil. These increases far exceed the pre-pandemic expectations, adding to the risk of recession. Geopolitical tensions with US and China and notably the Ukrainian and Russia conflict have also further complicated the situation. This war has been a humanitarian crisis and sparked a global food and energy crisis, adding to the negative economic disruptions. Households and corporates at risk from $33 trillion debt burden. With this graph, we see record-setting debt levels inside both household and corporate finance. The accumulation of debt is incredibly dangerous in my opinion, and so the combination with high inflation, rising rates, and swelling debt, I think it's about time we see a pullback in the US market. I mean, I've just been trading the markets day in and day out. And from what I've seen, the market is extremely strong right now, extremely bullish. It's almost approaching the near highs again. I personally think that the party has been going on for way too long and that some sort of pullback is needed in the near future. While low rates incentivize borrowing as the 2020 stimulus, the hangover leaves the economy massively exposed to any instability shocks. Mortgage rates are back above 7% reducing housing affordability, corporate debt massively downgraded as rates are climbing, and private credit defaults more than double to over 4%. The sheer scale of all these obligations creates an immense financial burden as rates rise. But as with any great discussion or debate, we have to strongman the other side and see the reasons and factors as to why the US would avoid a recession. Section 3, Reasons US Will Dodge a Recession Despite all of these warning signs, the US has still been showing some muscle. Households are still discretionarily spending, and earnings across major retailers like Target and Best Buy show sales has certainly slowed down, but 
but remains surprisingly sturdy, all things considered. Categories like restaurants, travel, events demonstrate consumers still indulge summer vacation plans and weekend entertainment. The GDP grew at an annual rate of 4.9% in the third quarter and the labor market is holding strong as well. Unemployment rate was below 4% in October, adding about 150,000 jobs. Wages are still rising over 5% annually and household debt service ratios are still at historic lows. This kind of resilience is a curveball for most economies. After all, most recessions are triggered by financial shocks, but this time the economy's response to the Fed's aggressive interest rate hikes aimed at taming inflation has been unexpectedly robust. Some suggest that the massive stimulus that came from 2020 to 2022 plays a big factor here, as it put a lot of money in the consumer's pocket. Looking at both perspectives, some of the reasons such as high inflation, debt obligations, geopolitical tensions, Fed policy, unemployment rate, etc. are important in our analysis. With both possibilities of upside and downside, only one thing is certain, uncertainty. At this point, it's just a high stakes guessing game with so many shifting variables every day and it pays the big boys at hedge funds and on Wall Street to accurately guess what the economic future will hold. But what does this actually mean for the everyday person like you and me? With a possible downturn in the economy, I would recommend paying down your debt as soon as possible just to avoid the risk of any delinquencies if your income drops. Next, build up your emergency savings fund to cover you for the next 3-6 to six months of any fixed expenses just as a safety net. Also consider developing some side income streams via side hustles just because your main source of income may be vulnerable. Finally, cut the spending on non-essentials and only spend your money on your essential household items and things you need to live. Even if an outright recession does get avoided, the households that are still living paycheck to paycheck still get hit in my opinion due to the slowing growth. And getting one finances in order is paramount even in any kind of economy and market. It's always good to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. I'd love to hear where you net out in regards to the US economy's resilience. Will we have a recession or will everything be smooth sailing and up from here. Please share your thoughts and comments down below and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you found the video helpful. Till next time.